To watch more videos on the go, download the Pulse Ghana app today. Hello guys and welcome to a new episode of Amiya Says. Uh, it's a mama's uh, special. Yes, I was away in Durban for the MTV Africa Music Awards. Uh, exciting event. Uh, what I, I really took from it is the way, uh, this is not the first time I'm going to the MTV Awards, uh, but uh, I just like, this is the first time I was attending in South Africa, and I just like the fact that uh, it's happening there because I think culturally, uh, they are more into the youth and pop culture, and even the way they were responding to the acts, I'm sure if they held it in Ghana or Nigeria, it wouldn't have been the same. Uh, wonderful atmosphere, well-produced event. Uh, from the red carpet down to the main uh, event, everything was on point. But uh, as African as we are, I think we still have a lot to do when it comes to the red carpet bit. Uh, I felt that a lot of time was wasted uh, on the red carpet because it wasn't so well coordinated. Uh, there were pits for different uh, different media, for instance, photographers, news, uh, print, uh, radio, television, and then online. Uh, I also felt that maybe uh, the comedians who were put in the middle for radio could have been moved to the end because they spent too much time interviewing people on the on the on the on the red carpet and making jokes while the rest of us were waiting for them to come so we could interact with them also. And I think also uh, most of our, my, my brothers and sisters from the uh, the continent should understand that red carpet is not a place where you go for endorsement for someone to shout out for your program or your TV station. It all slows down. Uh, the process. You just have to ask a, a question if you want to ask a question, and then bam, they move on to the uh, the next person. Uh, so, still on record, but my favorite looks. I think the South Africans killed it. I mean, they came prepared. Uh, they wanted to leave an impression. I think it's it's a cultural thing. They uh, record is a big thing there. So they all wanted to make a statement, either by leaving uh, some sort of a something something with the people, so they could take away, or just looking very good. Some very explicit or rather raunchy uh, attires were worn on the night, uh, but I've got all the pictures so you can see them for yourself. I don't have to tell you. Uh, Ghana was well represented by Jocelyn Duma. Uh, she wore a blue jump, jumpsuit and I think uh, she looked lovely in it. Some people have said it was too simple, but I think uh, it suited her and uh, she was one of the best dressed, especially from Ghana for me. Uh, Caroline Sampson was also there and she was looking quite lovely as well. We've got the pictures for, uh, to show also. Anyway, main, the main event, uh, I know a lot of people have said that they were hoping uh, Stoneboy would have won. Of course, yes, I, uh, I think he was a Ghanaian that we all sort of supporting or had hopes because he had just come back from uh, winning uh, the BET Awards. Uh, which goes back to uh, how these awards are organized because BT Awards, MTV Awards, the MTV and BT are from the same company, Viacom. And so it's interesting when one award is nominating, uh, is giving an award to Stoneboy as the best African act, and then he's nominated for best new act, and he doesn't win it. But then it shows you the dynamics are different. And uh, for those who are saying that he, he deserved it, I think it's even worse uh, because when I was in the auditorium, anytime the nominations were rolling, uh, when the various artists were, were, were announced from South Africa, from Ghana, uh, from Nigeria, the, the excitement in the crowd was high. It was like they, the, the fans were rooting for them. And anytime they, they mentioned the Ghanaians, Sakode, Samini, and uh, Stoneboy, it was dead silent. It was like, who is this person? So I think our people need to work more and uh, push their music out there. And I think MTV must also place itself in a position where uh, it's easy for every artist uh, to to get the airplay uh, up to date. A lot of even well established artists have been calling me wanting to get their music to MTV and I just tell them go to DSTV and drop it up. Uh, so I think there's not that education and even if there's that education, how easy is it for an artist from Ghana to have all the airtime that uh, somebody, all the rotation that somebody from Nigeria is enjoying, somebody from South Africa is enjoying. So the way uh, MTV works at the moment, I think it's prime that uh, South, uh, South Africa and Nigeria will always come up top. Uh, so that's it. Uh, good, uh, good that at least we got nominated. I think our artists need to work more uh, 
the fact that they were nominated was good in, in its own and uh, hopefully next year, don't forget last year, uh, Samin uh, Sako Day won uh, Best Hip Hop. I don't know why he wasn't nominated again for Hip Hop because we all know he's one of the biggest Hip Hop artists in Africa. But anyway, that's it. Uh, enjoy the food. I hope you enjoyed the footage and uh, like I always say, have your say, I'm your say. Winning an iPhone 6 Plus. Thanks for watching. For more videos, click here to subscribe. And don't forget to like and follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Pulse Ghana. Catch you later.